Welcome to Frankfurt. I'm here at the IAA and right behind me is the Concept A-Class, a car I'm quite familiar with. But it's even more impressive here in the showroom than it was when I met it a few months ago. But now I'm off to see the new B-Class, one of the most talked about cars at this year's IAA. So if you want to join me, let's check it out together. I finally made it from A to B and I'm here to see one of the most talked about cars at this year's motor show. So let's check it out. I'm here with Jan, who's the product manager of the new B-Class. Jan, could I ask you about the new B-Class and its predecessor? What are the main differences? Scott, it's kind of simple because um, we lowered the car a little bit, we made it wider and therefore it has a more sportive um, appeal to the customer. We wanted to make it possible that elderly people feel young and younger people just feel welcome and this is why we specially designed the night package of the B-Class which you can see here with these tires, with these wheels better said, uh, they are as sportive as a B-Class has never been before and if you want to walk with me around you will see that the headlamps are very very young too. They have an LED headlamp design in here with a daytime running light in LED also and that gives the car a very young and impressive optical view. Compared to the A-Class, how does this really stand out? Scott, see the thing is the A-Class is basically made for people who are young and who are sporty. But as soon as you have either a hobby which needs a lot of space or you have um, a family or you just want to sit a little bit higher, elevated and have a good look around, then you're with the B-Class. And the night package makes it as easy as possible for you because it looks just like a gorgeous young car but offering you those things like space and good visibility. Stepping into the car, you get a really sporty feel as well. It's not just on the outside, but also on the inside. They've changed all the features. The steering wheel has a really interactive feel. These air vents have gone from a blocky square format into a nice rounded shape. Also makes it feel very sporty, aerodynamic, it looks like a turbine. But we also have this iPad S command system, which is particularly interesting. It's focusing more on a youthful market now, this car. There's got pre-installed applications, bringing technology into the car. You can access the web when you're stationary, obviously. But uh, you can also access uh, Google Maps and weather. So everything you need to get to your destination safely. Up until now, I've only seen the B-Class in various increments and not as a finished piece. Now that I'm sitting in it, it feels comfortable, it's got an elegant look, and it's also very sporty. It's definitely a car I can see myself driving. I can't wait to see it in the showrooms this November and out on the streets too. So I finally managed to get a few minutes with Hans Engel, the chief engineer of the new compact series. And uh, Hans, I have a few questions for you if that's okay. Um, how is the new B-Class fitting into this more environmentally friendly package that Mercedes is putting together? Yeah, there are certain, uh, certain things to manage. One, one thing is we have a completely new powertrain, which is much more fuel efficient than the powertrains we have so far. And this is due to um, the fact that we use um, an engine family which is close to technologies we use in our rear-wheel driven cars, so that allows us to be very efficient with new engines. Secondly, we have new transmissions, for instance, a new double clutch transmission, which helps a lot to be very um, environmental friendly. And the other thing is the architecture, the new architecture of these vehicles is prepared to have um, the sandwich floor, which is um, the space for taking batteries or um, other, other tanks like um, hydrogen tanks to use our, our fuel cell technologies, for instance, or other things like uh, you, you've maybe seen downstairs the eCell Plus vehicle, which allows us to have this um, new technologies, new drivetrain technologies in this type of car. And it's uh, quite customizable as well, if I'm not mistaken. It is. It is. We have, in some way, we have some uh, packages which allow the customer to to um, have a to have a pre-selection of a package, but then he can customize um, some parts of the interior like he wants to have it. Like he can pick um, certain materials, he can pick certain colors, he can he can have besides these uh, basic packages, he can choose. He has he has much more um, opportunities to select. Okay. Great. Thanks very much for your time. Okay. 
The new B-Class has a much younger feel than its predecessor, so if you're 18 and looking to start driving, this is a great car to start out with. But remember, you got to have a driver's license to drive, or else you'll end up in a different kind of car. Like this one. I'm standing next to the Concept B-Class eCell Plus, Mercedes-Benz's first electronic vehicle with range extender technology. This car, combining petrol and electronic power, gives you a full range of up to 600 kilometers, which is pretty impressive for this environmentally friendly vehicle. The Concept B-Class eCell Plus can be charged using any standard domestic power supply, which makes it very useful. The combination of the lithium-ion battery and the petrol engine really shows how Mercedes are pushing forward when it comes to environmentally friendly cars. I just hope, as I'm sure you'll agree, that they keep this nice copper detailing, but we'll see in the future. So that was the B-Class and its environmentally friendly counterpart, but now I'm here with uh, the SLS uh, E-Cell. It's another electronic car, but it's a sports car. That's a bit more up Matthew's alley, so I'll leave that to him.